Warning, this video contains nicotine consumption and sometimes tobacco. Nicotine is an addictive chemical and tobacco may cause gum disease or tooth loss. Please, do not try this at home. Yo, what's cracking mother truckers outlaw back on the outlaw channel. What you just heard, you might be like, what the dick outlaw? What the dick man, what, what in the tits is that? Guys, I feel like I have to do that at this point. I feel like that is something that I have to do at this point to make sure that I don't screw myself in the future and I could continue to make vidges for you mother truckers out there. So we're gonna try it out and we'll see if it works. But I've been doing a little thinking, man. I've been doing a little, actually, I've been doing a little looking. A little looking, right? Look back on the channel, I was like, when is the last time I made a dip vidge on this channel? When's the last time I did it, right? Eight months ago. You know that in law? Really? Eight months ago. Eight. <laughs> That's, eight. That's a lot. I ate you. <laughs> what, the? what the hell? Has he been doing that the whole time? You've seen him in that reflection. Why are you laughing? No, you no, it's not, you know. You son of a Oh, God, I had to beat the dick off a of fat boy really quick. <laughs> Is it am I all right? Oh, I, I think he might have hepatitis after this one. <laughs> Apologize. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Now, what? I was back on the Outlaw channel looking at old vidges and stuff like that. I was looking and I was like, dude, I ain't made a vidge like this in years. But I figure like every year I should be making one because it just loads up in this son of a dick. This right here is my freezer. And if you guys remember, when I was living in Kentucky, this, was year, this vidge was like three and a half, four years ago. I did a what's in my freezer vidge, dip galore. And I have all this dip from over the years that I've done in vidges and all this kind of stuff and I still got it in my freezer and some of it might even be good. So today we're gonna take a little tour of my freezer dip collection 2020. But first, sorry, uh. you need to take a shower anyways, you might wanna use that to scrub. But first, it's time to PDS, batch. I said batch, uh, like I need to make a batch of dip. I'm trying to keep, kind of trying to keep it PG around here. No. I might not even be able to pack a can. Might, might sound like I'm spanking, you know. No, good thing. <laughs> I'll just like, maybe we should, you know, we gotta do some sound effects, man. Dude, in-law, we gotta, what the heck? What? You should be making sound effects, dude. We gotta make the fidgets better. No. Like I'm talking about in editing, you know? Like, yep. in the, like every time I pack, pack the can, it should be like me spanking a girl's butt, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right. Like every time it's just like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was pretty good, dude. I like what that. the hell did you just say? <laughs> oh, it's time to pee the ass, bitch. That was violent. My jug of the freaking day is the slap shot mud jug, ladies and gentlemen. For all you hockey fanatics out there, this is the slap shot mud jug. Just a basic white mud jug with the uh, slap shot logo for you hockey mother chuckers, and then we got hockey with some hockey players, dude. I'm not big into hockey, right? But hockey's a freaking huge thing. So all you gosh dang Canucker mother truckers up in freaking Canada land, I'm sure y'all like this. Not not to be racist or anything. I, I mean, I don't want to get in between y'all and your maple syrup. <laughs> I don't I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I don't <know>, freaking A. <laughs> Sorry, Justin! It's time for a mud jug minute! All right, let's go on a dip run. <laughs> Heck. <sighs> really need some dip. thousand years later. <sighs> can I get a can outlaw dip, please? Uh, we only got can straight. Oh God, this dip better be freaking worth it. Yeah. That's it for a magic minute!
it. All right, I think we're gonna switch camera angles here over this way so we can get a better look at what the tits we got in this free freezer. Let's do it. As you guys have probably noticed, I've got a caterpillar on my lip. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what the dick is that? If you guys don't follow me on my second channel, live to thrill. That's kind of my vlog channel over there. So I got a second channel where I basically we're vlogging a bunch of different stuff. And you know, I haven't made a, a freaking dip video since, since eight months ago, man. Eight months ago, I still remember, and it was actually when we got back from Africa, that's when they started hitting me really freaking hard. Gross. So with a couple different precautions and stuff like that, I basically said, listen, we're gonna do a couple things on the Outlaw channel to make sure that we can still post videos because honestly, I've been, I've been in a rut. I've been stuck in the mud the past eight months for real because these are the type of videos I like doing and I'm not able to do them because, and even though it's legal and completely legal for me to do these videos, you know, with some disclaimers and things like that, maybe, maybe it'll help me out to keep posting. Um, and them not threatening to, you know, delete my stuff. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyways, getting back to the live to thrill thing before we get into this video is basically what I was saying is right now on live to thrill, we're actually building the new outlaw studio in my garage. So if you guys want to follow along over on live to thrill, link is in the description box to go subscribe to that channel. We're going to be building the outlaw studio or hoping in the next what week or so it'll be done. We're doing some crazy stuff today. It got a little bit of cold, a little bit cold on us. So we weren't able to do some of the stuff we wanted to do, but dude, it's going to be tits buddy. So you guys go over to live to thrill, check it out. All right, let's get into the freezer video now. Oh, by the way, Outlaw Ramblin' Root Beer today. As of filming this video, oh, come on, focus. As of filming this video, this dip is still in stock. And you guys might be asking a couple things. So uh, the Ramblin' Root Beer, we released a bunch um, at once. It sold out, but then we, um, we started uh, making a little bit more for you guys. So I think we got a couple thousand left. Uh, or maybe, actually, I think we only have like a thousand left. So um, Ramblin' Root Beer, if you guys want to try it, this is the newest flavor. We basically uh, strictly made it to see if you guys want to keep it around or not. S really tastes like A&W Root Beer and like that, those, uh, those like candy, uh, those like, you know, you suck on them and things. Not nipples, but you know, the candy. So it tastes like that. Oh, freaking Jesse! But then anyways, we're, we're releasing a couple more um, flavors at a time. As you guys know, with our machine, um, we're upgrading machines right now. So it's really hard for us to keep a bunch of stock because you guys are insane and buy so much at once. And anyways, it's, it's getting better. So anyways, let's pop into the freezer here. Now, you guys might be asking, why the tits do you have so much dip in your freezer? And why do you have so many different array of dips in your freezer? Well, the reason for that is because I do a tits ton of vidges all the time. And I have so many different types of dips that sometimes I'm not able to open all of them and they just accumulate in here. So I've got a bunch of different freaking shelves. Uh, all this stuff right here, if you guys can see, this is all outlaw dip. So we've got outlaw dip here, we've got old cans. We've got, this is the, when we used to have tobacco. This is the backwoods, or the backwoods, the uh, badass bourbon, southern sweet tea, watermelon, when it used to be tobacco. We've got, uh, dude, I had a really funny can in here, actually. Yeah, here's the old cans that we used to have. We used to make really thick cans. These are a little bit bigger cans. They got bigger bottoms. Oh my goodness. That's been sitting in there a couple of years. <laughs> this is this is old. Honestly, it has been sitting in here a couple of years. So I've got all the outlaw dip on the shelf. And as some of you know, I used to save all of my cans and then I ended up just signing all of them from the dip tower and putting them up on outlawmerch.com. If you guys want to check it out, you know what I'm saying? Pro J's. Link in the description. Just getting my poop out. But hey, look at that. Perfect mojo holder, dude. Ha! Ha 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 ha. I got my skull citrus dipper or something. Ha ha. That's how I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like skull citrus dippers laugh like that, dude. Like you put in skull citrus and they got it like right in the center, spitting in a bottle. Ha ha. That's what they do, you know? Skull citrus commercial coming soon. Ha ha. Yes. All right, let's get into this son of a dick. Let's go, I guess, let's start with the top shelf. We got some Java Chews. This is a company that uh, makes Java Chews. They're basically self explanatory, basically. It's coffee dip pouches. Um, uh, there's no tobacco, no nicotine, just straight caffeine from the, uh, from the, the coffee. Pretty good stuff, done a couple of videos on that. Just 
I keep these around for people that come over to my house and you know they they're not dippers or anything but they want to like try they want to be cool like me and hey man, you're and, pretty cool and you know i want to dip so can i like have some dip sure here you go oh cool hey thanks yeah, man yeah have a good one man he's a freaking bitch he packs pouches in his bunghole so yeah that's basically what i keep the java chews around for and i got a couple other things like that this is kind of like my uh this is kind of like the the pussy pack we'll call it this is the this is the pussy pack up here because we got some camel snus up in this dildo. Dude, look at this crap, man. We got camel snus up here. We got a lot of these. This is from the camel snus uh, suicide that I did, which is uh, basically I mix all the dips together at once. I basically bought every camel snus I could find and uh, got that up there. Oh, don't laugh at my freaking frozen bananas up here. We like to make banana bread in this house. So we got some antelope sausages and some weird stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of camel snus, man. I haven't looked up here in a while, so. I don't know what could happen. We got a lot of camel snus though. So anybody that comes to my house that's somewhat like in-law, they're gonna freaking love it, dude. They're gonna freaking love it. Oh, we got a Pris Master. I don't know why I put this in the fridge. This is a Pris Master right here, dude. That bakes a Prilla of snus. Loose snus, to be exact. I'm kind of getting more into loot, uh, loot, uh, <laughs> I'm getting more into the snooze and being a snooze connoisseur, right? So this definitely comes in handy when I'm trying to break bake a prilla. I mean, you could just hillbilly pinch it, um, you know, but snooze is, is very fine as well and it's very muddy. So it, it's a little bit hard, but this makes it nice. So we got the press master there. What else we got? Oh, we got some, when I used to work with the company, the Northerner, we got some of their snooze that they created. This is a wintergreen. They, uh, they have their own stuff here. And this is a kind of cool can, it's very skinny and uh, you know, a different snooze can than you usually, usually see. So I've got a lot of Northerner up here. And then, oh dude, I see some goodies up in here, man. I see some freaking goodies up in here. This stuff right here, these are some of the tiniest cans that have ever come out, ever. This is African Makla. So uh, Makla is a, I think it's made in Belgium actually. It's actually a German dip, but it's got the continent of Africa on there. Bunch of different flavors, but they all taste like shit, to be honest. <laughs> They've got, uh, Ifrica, Platinum, El Cantara, and Red. And each one tastes like mud, and it packs a buzz for sure. But this stuff is actually sold in a lot of freaking different places. I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of it. There is a lot of nicotine in this stuff, but uh, still not a huge fan. So we got some of that in there. We got some nasal snuff up in this bitch. We got Silver Dollar Apricot right there, and we got Cherry. Um, this is nasal snuff. You just do a little frickin', let's see if it's still good. Should we? Shall we? Shall we? Fat boy, you wanna join me? Oh, golly. Still a little frickin', here, take half of this, because this is, this is quite a bit. Here, put it on your snuff box. Put it on your snuff box. There we go. You want a little, little cheers? A little cheers. Here, come in, come in a little bit. Ooh. A little cheers, here little we cheers. go. Oh, God, dude, oh my gosh, that was so bad. You good? Yeah. Yeah, holy crap, man. Dude, so apricotty. Wow. Holy dick, dude. That's crazy, right? <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> oh, dude. How's your eyes looking, man? Oh, you uh, watered up right there. Oh, yeah. Still pretty as ever, bud. Yeah, Thanks, know. man. What the dick, dude? Did you freaking match me today? Uh, Outlawmerch.com. Yeah, a little nasal snuff up in that dick. Oh, and then the smallest dip can that has ever been out, ladies and gentlemen, El Toro. I've done a couple videos on this. This stuff right here, I believe it's from Venezuela and made by the company Chimo. It's basically freaking black tar heroin up in here and you put it under your tongue and it's just, it's just dip, man. It's just dip, you put it under your tongue, get a nice buzz. It's really sticky and weird, but who would have thought? I mean, I can understand American tobacco. You wanna put it in your lip, right? Who would have thought, first of all, to ever put anything in your lip? But like, I know kind of snooze and the Swedes kind of started it all, but like, putting it under your tongue and letting it disintegrate and it's getting you a buzz? Who, who came up with that, dude? My, my aunt's Venezuelan, she might kick me in the dick, dude. I apologize. All right, well, that's kind of it for the top shelf there. Just a lot of, uh, a lot of like non-tobacco stuff. Uh, camel snus and we got you know just some some weird stuff some nasal going down to this shelf right here this one this is kind of the American shelf and what I have I've got a freaking roll of Copenhagen snuff in here dude what I didn't I should have looked through this do son of a bitch do, do it. no I, I should on. do do you what do, do, do dip it do yeah, it. It. yeah that's what I think of you you son of a dick I hate you I hate you Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a 
filter. I don't know what I can do. I can make my voice really high. Yeah, we got some Copenhagen stuff in here, man. Uncracked, uh, a five can roll. I don't know why, but uh, we'll go ahead and just leave that on the floor over there where it belongs, right? If you guys don't know, now you know. Oh my gosh. Look what's up in here, dude. Hello. The greatest, the greatest snooze to ever be. Siberia! Dude, I feel like I should be working with this company right here, dude. Siberia, like, guys, I feel like I, I feel like I helped them so much. Mm. Every video I've done on Siberia has like over a million views, bro. I think I have like, no joke, five million views together, like combined or more, just by Siberia. GN Tobacco makes it. They're probably one of the biggest snooze manufacturers in the world. GN, hit me up, dude. Why don't we work together, dude? Fly me out to Sweden, dude. Come on, you know I look Swedish. Come on. So we got some Siberia up in this dildo. Oh, we got some more, uh, some more northerner stuff there. We got some, dude, we got a lot of Swedish stuff. Going back to Copenhagen, I reckon. I, dude, these might have been in the old freezer video because these are old, man, but Copenhagen came out with these special cans a couple years ago. Uh, the old Weemans, the old Weemans Copenhagen here. And uh, this, these are like old cans that they came out with. They just had them out for a couple months. So, you know, I like to collect some stuff. So I figured I would, uh, I figured I would keep these guys at least a little bit, you know, no matter how much they piss me off, I'm still a collector, you know. <laughs> what else we got up in here, dude? We got some old Grizzly Dark Select, which I remember I do it, did a video on this. I don't even remember how it tasted. I don't remember if it tasted like straight or what or natural. I can't remember if it was more of a tobacco taste. I'll have to freaking do that again. Kayak Grape. What in the world? We got a uh, Copenhagen Camo Mint Can. I've got a lot of these Camo Cans somewhere around the house. We got some Klondike. I tried that. It's a, a newer brand. Well, it's not newer, but it's 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 been around for a while, but I haven't tried it as of recent. Uh, old Copenhagen Black Can when they came out with the barrel aged Copenhagen Black. That's in there. Very interesting. Some Decade. Decade is a, uh, a very cheap dip. 109. Probably one of the cheapest dips you can buy out there. If you're dipping on a budget, dude, Decade is the way to go. But I can't remember if it was good or not. I haven't had this one for forever, so. Like I'm saying, dude, this, these, these are, have been in my freezer for years. And then, moving on to the bottom shelf, which is basically all freaking snooze, man. Check this out. We got, oh, here we go. We got some grinds. These are coffee pouches as well. I should probably put these up on the top shelf. Grinds, more coffee pouches. You see these at a lot of different stores. You see grinds all around a lot more than Java Chews. Um, grinds are one of the biggest coffee pouch brands. I see them, we see them a lot here in Colorado too. Grinds are all over the place, so they're, they're, they're getting it for shizzle. Oh man, look at this. We got a giant pile of this stuff right here, Zen. Zen, I'm actually gonna be doing a video on this stuff soon because it's pretty insane how much this company is taking over. Zen is a straight nicotine pouch. Um, they're dry white pouches. I've done a video on it before, but this stuff's taken over, man. So Zen, we got a lot of that in here. And I'm actually very surprised with Zen. I'll get into it more on the on the video I've done with them, but dude, I did a video on it and the company, it's it's Swedish Match, they just sent me like a bunch of like gear. They didn't send me any of the Zen, obviously, but they sent me a bunch of like Zen t-shirts, hats, and a thank you note. That's super cool, man. That's super cool. And a lot of companies don't do that. So that's awesome. What else we got in here, man? You got some Siberia Brown, the power portion. Siberia is really cool, man. We got some freaking thunder. We got some Odin's Dry. Odin's very good stuff. Also GN Tobacco right here. Same people that make Siberia. And some freaking General, dude. A lot of people's favorite. This is like the Copenhagen, I reckon, of the uh, snooze world. If I'm wrong, tell me. But this is like the Copenhagen original of the snooze world. A lot of people dig this stuff. I guess you could say Etten is like that too. But general uh, original loose is very much like the Copenhagen of the snooze world, man. Good, good stuff. And then some of my, one of my favorite snooze companies right here, which I'm kind of sad that I haven't dipped this stuff, man. I kind of miss it. This is Jacobson's. Jacobson's, we got mint. They've got melon uh, and freaking flater. What the hell is flater, dude? It's kind of like, if I remember, it's kind of like apple or something. I don't remember. I can't even remember, honestly, but it's flater. This stuff is manufactured by like Gotslands or Got Gotslands AB or something like that. I don't remember, but. Yeah, Jacobson's one of my favorite. I've actually got a video coming up on this stuff as well. Some new stuff. Some new freaking stuff that they got. We got some, this is the Kick Up, which is, I wasn't very impressed with. This is Kick Up. It's uh, non-tobacco, no nicotine, just straight caffeine. We got some Off-Road Snooze. 
Probably the worst can I've ever seen. Look how big that freaking warning label is. That's horrible, man. Holy dick. Got some more Siberia and then, dude, we got some freaking Coke in my fridge, dude. Some Toke Coke. That's right. This is actually nasal stuff too. So it's uh, don't smoke snuff Toke. A lot of these nasal snuff people, man. It's big in Germany. It's big over, it's not very big in the US, but it's big in Europe. A lot of people do the nasal snuff here. This, uh, they have, Toke has a million different flavors. The only one that I have left is the Coke. Uh, I think more of just like an inside joke to be like, hey man, you want some Coke? Yeah. Here you go, dude. Try a Toke. <laughs> dude, I should be freaking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm perfect for this freaking company, man. Come on, how much you guys want? How much you guys want, dude? <laughs> now, I think that really about sums it up, man. We got a bunch of different stuff in here, but it's all been from crazy vidges over the years. A lot of you guys probably haven't even seen or heard of any of this stuff, but we've got a lot more vidges coming that this freezer is gonna be packed full. And, Fat Boy, come over here, man. I want you to tell him your freaking idea because you had a great idea for the new Outlaw Studio that we're building in the garage, and I think this will be very, very good for the future years of doing Outlaw mm -hmm. Freezer uh, tours. Mm -hmm. What's the idea, Fat Boy? Well, we are gonna put a mini fridge or freezer with a glass cover so you guys can see it all the time. Glass door. In the Outlaw Garage. That's right, baby. And then, every single time in the videos, you guys can basically see us just packing up the snooze in there, yeah. packing up the dip. You know, because if you guys don't know, and you guys might be asking, why the tits do you keep it in your freezer? If you keep dip in your freezer, let's say you buy a six pack of Outlaw Dip from OutlawDip.com. If you put, if you're dipping one, put the other five in the freezer, it keeps it fresh. It keeps Boy. it fresh. You don't have to put it in the freezer, you can put it in the fridge too. We're gonna buy a fridge. Well, we won't buy a freezer, but either way, like if you're, if you're gonna have something for a long time, you're not gonna dip for a couple months, keep it in the freezer. If you're gonna be dipping it, you know, on a daily basis and you just wanna you keep, keep cracking it, put it in the fridge. So um, that's a little Outlaw tip for you. Okay, get, get out. I'm gone. Now we're looking good. <laughs> Look at that. All right, mother truckers, I reckon that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the freezer toy. But before I go, guys, today is Friday the 13th. So on mudjug.com, we released a mudjug for you, which I do not have in my possession yet because we released it at the last minute. But we got the Jason Voorhees mudjug available for you mother truckers. It is the roadie version, so it fits in your cup holder. Friday the 13th is here. You guys can go get that and be queer. When I say queer, I mean happy, right? Queer means happy, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Right? Yeah. Or no, gay means happy. No, yeah. Oh, queer definitely means you like guys. Fuck! Yeah. Son of a dick! <laughs> Anyways, you guys know I'm a really good rapper and I'm good at rhyming, but I don't mean when you buy Mojo Gigi. You get what I'm saying. Mojo.com. Son of a bitch. 25, 8, 366. No matter what you're doing, gosh dang, it's been a while, boy. This feels good. Keep it freaking out! We got human in here, boy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I want to do more of that, man. Outlaw Channel 2020. It's coming back, boy. I don't know why I did that. Ha ha. Gratatata. Hello, rolling. Y'all get ready.